Now, it looks like here that the biggest reason that this coin did go down was because of Donald Trump and what he said about crypto and Bitcoin. So we're going to check out what happened today and what will happen in the future of Shiba Inu. So here we are in CoinMarketCap. Let's check out what's been happening to this coin for the last couple of hours and the last couple of days. Basically here at the market, we can see $2.8 billion. But you have to remember that we were like a couple of days ago at $4 billion, So we did lose $1.2 billion. So this is a lot. This is the biggest reason I'm making this video what happened here. So for the blue market, it says 7.2 almost billion dollars in the volume the last 24 hours at 700 million which is okay so this number is okay of course it would be a lot better if we were at 1 billion dollars here for the volume so still 12 percent up so that's still amazing to see look at the watches guys almost 910,000 watches which is amazing to see we did go down in ranks so 41 now we're, we're i think 31st 34th something like this but still this will pretty much okay but we're gonna see what's going to happen if you do want to buy a coin you have so many different exchanges we can buy the coin basically so many different Look at this, Binance, Alabank, Huobi. So it looks like more people are buying on Binance right now. So this is so super interesting to see. You can just see, look at this. So, so many coins, they're going up by 6%, 5%. And that's pretty terrifying. So this is Shibina right now. But Bitcoin here, can you just see, this in two days, imagine this. Imagine you buying uh, a car here at this level. And this is this would be pretty cool if you, if you bought it at this level. Because you bought it. For cheaper basically because bitcoin they go down later on but imagine you buying a car here at this level you just lost like 15 16 percent of profit you could have made and that's the biggest problem that i'm just seeing here hopefully you guys are understanding me what i'm trying to say here but imagine you buying a car here if you bought a car, car here it would be a great deal because bitcoin they go down by 20 percent so you bought it for less money basically that's the best thing you could have could have happened but if you bought it like i said at this dip here, you bought the car at this dip, and slowly Bitcoin goes up, then that's a bad idea because it's better to hold, hold Bitcoin, not buy anything, hold Bitcoin, and then you can increase your Bitcoin, and then sell later on, when it's a lot worth a lot more. And that's the biggest, like the biggest problem I see that could happen if we ever have like crypto in the future, where everything's going to be legal, everybody will be able to like buy and sell things with Bitcoin. Not only with Bitcoin, but so many different things here like with like i said shiba inu leash here like i know people are adding uh, shiba inu here to their company so you can have an op operation you can buy gold with shiba inu like that's all pretty insane so this is why i think in the future crypto will work the problem is they have to think of a way to do this so shiba inu did say that what they want to do they want to make a stable coin called i think it's she and I think that she, so that coin should be the world currency because because it has to be stable. So if we have a stable coin, if they do make the stable coin, that's the coin it needs to go to the future. It needs to be used uh, massively. Now, because of that, the fluctuation of this coin, that coin won't be good, but people will start to spend. And with the ecosystem, how it does work, probably they're going to do something where you'll be able to get more like shiba inus if you get like she so probably something like that so this is why in the end if they do make a stable coin and that stable coin is being used in the future that could be pretty insane like people will be able to buy bread with that kind of money because it's not going to go down tomorrow by five percent or up by ten percent it is going to be stable basically like tether like i said tether usdt so stable coins this is the only thing that could be used as the worldwide currencies because like i said things like this can go down by 10 percent by 50 percent up and that's not you can't call you cannot change the the worth of bread every single day guys <laughs> that's the problem like normally when you go to the store you know bread is worth like i don't know a dollar i don't know how much bread is worth in america but something like that basically you're not what would you do if tomorrow was two two dollars and the day after that it's five dollars and then five days later, it's like half a dollar. You want to? It would be super crazy. It would be just super crazy. That's the problem with Bitcoin. But stable coins, stable coins can be good in the future. But let's talk about some analysis. I've been, I've been just talking about my theories here. But yeah, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. But for this coin, the biggest problem is we did reach this level. So yesterday we had a huge dip because of Donald Trump. This is that dip all the way to here. And that's, we even pass this line here, which is just not good. This is a huge sign 
that this is a huge problem for the coin. Now, we did increase. We did have a huge increase here of like 17%, 18%, but still, we lost a lot more. So we do lose a lot more, but look at Leash here. Leash is doing a good job. I don't know how, but Leash is just breaking all the records. So even if we did dip here for Leash, we got up again. So people bought dip. People bought the dip like crazy. We're back where we were, and that's the difference with Shiba Inu and Leash here. But Shiba Inu did drop a lot more. Because like I said, Shiba Inu is following Bitcoin. And because it's following Bitcoin, it just takes everything just takes a lot longer to do. And a lot longer to finish so hopefully we're gonna stabilize here and we're gonna slowly go up again now is there a good chance for something like that to happen or well, i'm seeing a small triangle here being formed now the biggest problem is going up and down at the same time as you can see that we're making lower highs so this high here then we're getting lower but we're, we're making uh higher lows every time here you can see this low then we're going a step higher, boom, to this low, then a step higher to this low. So basically, we're, we're evenly matched right now. So we could, it's basically that we can really even know, we could break to the downside. If we do break to the downside, pretty much what's going to happen is that we're going to hit this level one more time. But if we do break to the top side, what could happen to this coin, it's a little bit of boost, not a lot, but we could be seeing something like this, where we do go up and reach this level here first stabilization and maybe reach this level also all the way to here it all depends but that should mean that the coin should increase either by eight percent or by 14 but if we do go down then the coin will decrease by another 12 percent so we're gonna see what's gonna happen hopefully we do break the top side in the end so let's get right into the uh, Trump thing. So there, here it is. It says here, uh, Donald Trump calls Bitcoin a scam against the dollar. It says former U.S. President Donald Trump has uh, told Fox Business that he sees Bitcoin as a scam affecting the value of the U.S. dollar. Bitcoin, it just seems like a scam, Mr. Trump said. I don't like it because it's another currency uh, copting against the dollar. He added that he wanted the dollar to be the currency of the world. His comment uh, came on the back of the news of El Salvador plans to make the cryptocurrency legal tender. The price of Bitcoin has been uh, falling steadily since early May and so far has not recovered. The falls were widely attributed to China banning banned banks and payment firms from providing services related to cryptocurrency transactions as well as electric car maker Tesla it announced it would no longer accept the currency a week before that. Is Bitcoin actually a threat to currency? Here's what experts we, uh, we spoke to think. Bitcoin is a threat to all major currencies. Justin, uh, so Justin, co-founder of Seven Investment Management and originally investment platform, thinks Bitcoin does not have a potential threat of this destabilizing currencies because it has taken off in a such a way that it's created a popular appeal without any sound financial strength. It says here he blames the rise of Bitcoin on figures like Elon Musk behaving stupidly, which makes the general public perceive that the cryptocurrency is credible. Bitcoin is dangerous because it's trying to create a level of credibility to unreliable and wholly unfounded value, he tells the BBC. Quite often, unsophisticated uh, punters are done and at, at the wrong time to something they think they can make a quick buck on. To them, it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's Bitcoin or GameStop or AMC, it's something you can bet on. So it says here, Tesla will no longer accept Bitcoin, says Elon Musk. I lost millions through cryptocurrency addiction and Bitcoin it dies as China cracks down on crypto. It says He says that a rising trend of young people who are somewhat tech savvy, like hobby technologists, are taking huge risks because they haven't uh, been educated about finance, finance properly. Mr. Stewart strongly believes that national curriculum should include education how to develop family finances over generations. What we have now is a young generation of punters who have no knowledge of financial planning and development, stresses Mr. Stewart. They understand how to buy and sell things, but they have no concept of how to create long-term wealth. And this is maybe the biggest problem with crypto right now because people want to do is just to go enter a coin and exit basically like a couple days after if it does pump so it is good for the short term guys you are gonna get some short term money but long term wealth is not created by doing stuff like this I think one really big wealth is created by investing into a coin like a stock or something like that and then just putting being there for like 10 years and your 
uh, it slowly grows and grows and grows, but every time you do put in more and more and more, so later on it could go up basically. So later on you have even more increase. So it says here, no threat to the dollar. In contrast, Neil Veslin, a chief market analyst of market.com, thinks Bitcoin is definitely not a currency. Says He says that to qualify as a currency, it must have following instructions. A unit of account, provide a good store of value, be a means of payment. I call Bitcoin more of a security, like a stock or a bond, says Mr. Wilson. Although I, it's, it's appreciated massively, it's far too volatile to be a currency. It moves around more than most stocks do. He says that with Bitcoin, people are mostly buying it to hold onto the invest, rather than spending it frequently. And as to Mr. Trump's assertion, the cryptocurrency is threatening the US dollar. He disagrees, although I, it could be a slightly threat to gold. The means by which America experts influence over the world is predominantly by the dollar. And it's not going to give that up, so I don't see Bitcoin as a threat whatsoever, he says. Governments don't like other people creating money. They seem to tolerate cryptocurrencies for some time. But they will eventually get their own digital currency established and will squeeze Bitcoin out into the margins. So there you go. That's the biggest news we have for today's video. But in the end, what Trump here says that it's basically competing with the dollar. So Bitcoin is competing with the dollar. Not only Bitcoin, but so many different coins also. The biggest problem with Bitcoin is that it's, like they said, it's pretty volatile. So it does move up and down a lot. And because of that, it's not stable. And that's the biggest problem I see with Bitcoin. Because imagine you want to buy bread with Bitcoin. And that means you're going to spend 0 0.0000, I don't know, maybe 1 Bitcoin on bread. The problem is, uh, imagine Bitcoin then going down by 15% in just like two hours. It's not, then what happens to the bread? You have to pay more for the bread? Like, it's not that good. It's not that good to use, at least in those terms. If we did have a coin that was pretty much stable, it doesn't have fluctuations that kind of like Tether, but Tether is not, good, it's not a good coin, but something like that, then it would be pretty good. So Bitcoin is not something it can be used as. And the biggest problem is like, why if you imagine like Tesla's, I think this was the best idea ever. So, so Elon Musk tweeted that uh, te uh, you can buy Tesla's with Bitcoin. Imagine this, you, so you, you spend Bitcoin to buy Tesla. So once you buy the Tesla, the Tesla is never going to be worth more in the future. It's only going to be worth less. But if you hold Bitcoin, Bitcoin is going to be worth more. So basically, you're in the long term, you're losing. You're losing too much, actually. And that's the biggest problem with Bitcoin. Why would you buy anything with Bitcoin if Bitcoin is the best thing to have? Like, that's the problem. Like, why would you buy a house with Bitcoin if it's better to hold Bitcoin than buy the house, like if you want more money, of course, in the end. And that's the biggest promise with cryptos. But we're gonna see what's gonna happen here. It's still pretty much interesting. So maybe if somebody can find a solution, that's the biggest problem with every single coin. So imagine Shiba Inu. Why would you buy a house with Shiba Inu if Shiba Inu can like 10X in like a month? Imagine you buying a house and you spend like, I don't know, 100k from Chiba from, from, of your ship. And they, let's, let's say that's like 70% uh, of your Shiba Inu. And then the next month, it 10x's. You could have had like 1 million from that. So it's not a good idea to buy things for Chiba. Because there is a possibility it could go up. But of course, it is a good idea if it's going to go down. Now the thing with the dollar and like other fiat currency is that it doesn't move that much. It does have fluctuations, but those fluctuations are at 0 0.001 or 0. It's like just 0 1 percent up or 0.1 percent down. It's not too big of a difference. But guys, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to buy these coins, please do your own research first. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, it would mean so much for me if you liked this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.